Hello everybody, my name is Lex Blazer. You might recognize me from various online how-to videos, but today I'm coming to you on behalf of TNB Naturals in order to talk a little bit more about CO2 in this third of a four-part series. In today's episode, I'm gonna basically explain to you how does CO2 affect vegetative phase when it comes to plants? What does it do during that phase precisely? Now, flowering or fruiting plants, such as cannabis or tomatoes, go through two distinct phases of life, the vegetative phase and the flowering phase. Obviously, the vegetative phase is the one that comes first, and it's where plants basically just keep growing and growing and adding biomass. They just keep expanding in size during that phase and pretty much doing nothing else. As a result, if you add CO2 during vegetative phase by using a product such as the Enhancer by TNB Naturals, what you're doing is you are hoping to speed up that growth by as much as you can. When you put CO2 into your grow room, you are going to be achieving the same amount of growth in a fewer number of days. Or you could say that you will achieve more growth in the same number of days. How much more growth precisely? Well, it really varies, but 30% more growth seems to be a fairly fair estimate. I always tell people that if you only have the resources to apply CO2 during one phase of your plant's life, then that phase should definitely be the vegetative phase. The reason for that is that that's the phase where you can get the most bang for your buck in terms of money spent on CO2 versus number of days saved in growing. How much CO2 should be added to plants during vegetative phase? Well, there's certainly a point of diminishing returns where you're injecting a ton of CO2 and not getting a whole lot for it. Fortunately, there's a graph for all that that you guys can look at. And as you can see, according to this graph, roughly the best bang for the buck is reached in the 700 to 900 parts per million range, although many growers try to keep their CO2 running right around 1,000 parts per million. That's pretty standard. And there you go, that's all there is to it. That's all CO2 does in the vegetative phase. If you're interested in what it does in the flowering phase, join us for the next video. In the meantime, subscribe, hit that like button if this was useful, and we'll see you then.